a very important exhibition and it's great of UGA to do it. The struggle for Soviet Jewry was, was embedded in all of us, from our parents and my generation as well, even though we were young at the time. So no, we're not forgetting. You know, people need freedom. People need to be able to be free to, to pursue their own dreams. And that's what the Jewish people needed, that's what we got, and that's a shining example for everybody. So absolutely, people need, it's not just about the Jewish community. Nothing we do is ever just about the Jewish community. Everything is to be a light unto the nations, to lead the way for others. Right now, there's a lot of freedom of movement, and people forget that the, for decades, it was let my people go, and trying to get people out, and, and it was a, a struggle that went through uh, 70 years. The exhibit is fantastic. Uh, for what it represents, the coming together of the world jury and helping free Soviet Jewry, and more importantly, uh, the fact that they were able to come out and rebuild lives um, in Israel and sometimes the United States and other places around the world. It's interesting, it was a time where for me as a third generation American who had really no ties, to, no ties at all to Israel and very little understanding of of what the miracle of Israel is. Um, it started, my interest started just reading in the newspaper and understanding the plight of the refuseniks and the problems in the former Soviet Union, in the Soviet Union. President Reagan already started confusing the names, but it was so clear for him that we have to do this demonstration. So... Uh... I have a 30 years history with the uh... The Federation of New York when I was the executive director of Israel Public Council for Soviet Jewry and we got uh, supported by the Federation and we did many many important things in Israel, in America and in, even in Russia itself to make sure that that will be a success story. I just want to say we need to think about the Jewish community if they put their efforts together for good and for what's right just think of the power we had then and the power we can have now. I think it's really important. 25 years of a historic exodus of Soviet Jewry, more than one million Jews uh, left during that period of time. It's also a chance to reflect on the many ways that Russian-speaking Jews have enriched our community since then in New York, in Israel and around the world. And the power of all those people, hundreds of thousands of people, coming to Washington and saying, you know, let my people go, basically. Um, we did have that power to really mobilize the world and um, eventually enable the people of, the, of Russia and those countries to um, become free. A long process, and it wasn't just that moment, but it was a pivotal moment. Great exhibition. Any nation that doesn't remember the history doesn't have a future. We will support Limud, we will continue support Limud because what you're doing is the most important thing for the Jewish nation.